Hello and welcome to Everything to Guppy, the podcast where we talk about every single item, every single enemy, every single everything in The Binding of Isaac. I'm William Hughes, and I'm joined, as always, by a, uh, a staple of Midwestern entertainment, Gary Butterfield. What is this piece of shit? I'm going to go jerk off. Clown pewter? That's so fucking stupid. Probably doesn't even have a games on it. Gary, I was really it's trying. I, it's what? I did it. It's the it's the, the the thing the thing from the show that we like from the show that we like I need to go back you're, and w- you're, you're trying to stop me from that though for some reason some comedy supremacist way reason <laughs> I'm not being a Gary this it's very <laughs> early oh, it's in the another rec- one of your sweaty jokes it's very it early in the episode to call me a comedy supremacist <laughs> uh Gary I was just you know what. Because we're doing Bozo today, and it would have been yep. real easy to pigeonhole my buddy Gary into being a Bozo, right? Yeah. And I wa- didn't want to do that, so I thought I'd give you some... It's like if I like laid out a buffet for you, mm-hmm. uh, and I did put like the the Dorito-dusted pork rinds on the buffet to set a lowest bar, and yeah. then I just watched you fill up your entire fucking trough with the <laughs> Doritos-crusted pork rinds. Sounds delicious. God damn it, I, Gary! I made those up, but they do sound really good. Yeah, they're really good, man. I I uh, I didn't just do bozo though. I did a canted bozo. <laughs> yeah, you uh, you didn't bother. So you did bozo, but you didn't bother coming up with any original things for bozo to say. You just said things that a fake version of bozo said on a TV show the, in an underrated sketch. The um, bozo. Did you watch bozo? Bozo was we we have Bob Rorson, so we probably had bozo in common. Bob Rorman. Sorry, Rorman. Bob Rorman. Rorman. Uh, yeah, I watched Bozo as a kid. Uh, me, I had, I had a lot of critiques of those kids' fucking ball cup tossing. In the buckets? Yeah, yeah Bozo buckets, man. Those kids fucking suck. I, I, <laughs> those, like, I, was, I was going for the, I was <laughs> fucking suck. <laughs> it's literally the only thing I remember, too. And I was, I, was, I was prepared for you to be like, yeah, man, I watched that. And then for me to introduce how shitty the kids were at Bozo buckets. <laughs> Well, Gary, this is why we're friends. I know. I'm glad that we both think those kids fucking suck ass at Bozo Buckets. That being said, like, you know, It's going to someone... bounce you, idiots. Yeah. You want more horizontal said, than that. Uh, whatever genius made that an arcade game. Mm-hmm. Like, those, it is pretty hard. <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's difficult, it's, but it's like those hard. kids weren't even trying. Those kids weren't even fucking trying. And there was, yeah. I don't remember what the prize was. It wasn't like Space Camp or anything. No, 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 no. It was a handshake from Bozo's wife. I, I think it was like a hundred bucks. Yeah, it was, it was not bad. It, it was, was a, it was not a bad thing. It was a million dollars for a child. Man, I remember, I have a very distinct, I don't have that memory memories of my dad. Yeah. But I have a very distinct memory of being in a car and trying to figure out the value of money. Uh huh. And, and being like, you know, if I had a hundred dollars, would I be rich? And my dad like laughing in my face. Yeah. <laughs> That's and not how you like, get rich. You get rich by having a child and then signing up for credit cards in his name. Yeah, and then going to venture. Yeah. Um, then you start uh, a second family and you take him to a film Jurassic about a dinosaur. Park. You take him to a lawyer's office that's somehow themed for Jurassic Park. Is that what it was? No, I know it just looked like that though, okay, but with all Jurassic yeah. Park decor. Um, I didn't know how they do. Damn, Gary, I was I before the before we started recording, I asked you where you were at in the visual novel of your life. Sure. What yeah. if there was a path where you became a Jurassic Park themed lawyer? <laughs> That's how I met my dad. Yeah. That's how you met your mother. <laughs> that, that is how I met my uh, mother, uh stepmother, not mother in law. Sure. Uh stepmother. Jane. Shout out to Jane. <laughs> Shout out to Jane. You knew Mama, what you were getting into, uh, probably. <laughs> I hope. I, you know, it seems like he's really, really pulled his shit together. <laughs> Gary, <laughs> it's the day after Father's Day because, uh, spoiler him. alert, we're recording two days in a row because of a combination of moves and heat waves. Double moves. Double moves. It's the only time in Guppy history where, like, both of us have moved within a span of a month. <laughs> Gary, <laughs> that is a fact that is accurate, and that's it. <laughs> Snapple facts. Yeah. Um, the uh but yeah in the visual novel that would have been one of the paths yeah you get your yeah. instead of uh getting your degree in whatever you got it in you got it in law yeah i think i've been watching a lot of better call saul i think i could be a pretty good lawyer yeah get that american samoa degree yeah you know correspondence as they call it um get it get a bad brother mean to me i you mean know? gary i would love to have michael mckean as a brother even if he was mean to me 
He seems really nice. Michael McKean. Uh, even if he's mean. <laughs> like, he's got a very pleasant voice. He's so pleasant. He seems genuinely broken up about David Lander dying. It's very, he's yeah. good. You he's can got, meet a lot of the, the people from the um, Christopher Gustaverse. It's true. Yeah. I was literally thinking about Michael McKean this morning because I had like, a, for whatever reason, I had a line from Clue the movie running through my head. I'm like, it's kind of homophobic that one of the end, like the triumphant ending is it turns out he's not gay. But yeah, still a great performance. Yeah. 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 It's it, it still still makes me laugh a little bit, uh, even if it's troubling. I'm reflection. going home to kiss my wife. My wife. Um, my wife. The. Oh, it was Michael McKean's wife. Yeah. <laughs> we're talking about bozo today Obviously. um pulling the plug on that character yeah <laughs> the rich comedy vein is like what if michael mckeon's white life would be like you know what would have been cool about being friends with michael mckeon though Please. is that if you did it at the right time uh you get to meet fred willard it's true uh i love fred willard God so damn. much i mean i just rewatched review and fred willard's yeah. got, a, got a strong part in that <laughs> like i well i worked hard on my letter so i'm still gonna read it yeah, and then it's, it's so funny Flash. <laughs> it's such a classic <laughs> like well i worked hard on it it's gary is there any other uh 2010s tv shows we want to talk about instead of this item um because we done i i think you should leave we've done review and we've done uh better call Saul. better so call far. Saul. yeah um no, I think that's all the 2010 TV shows. Yeah. We got them. You watched that Loki? Uh, Wait, no, that's a 2020 show. Sorry. Yeah. I watched the first episode. I've not watched the second episode yet. I watched the second episode last night. It's actually more fun than the first one, I think. Cool. I like that. I thought the first one was fun, too, so I'm I'm excited. Owen Wilson and Tom um, Hiddleston are fucking great together, man. Who would have thought? Yeah. Right? Let's do Bottle Rocket 2. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Tom Hiddleston, of, of course, maid. played the baby in Bottle Rocket. <laughs> yeah, the, um, uh, Bozo, uh, I always forget what this does, and then I read about it. I'm like, oh, none of this is good. None of it's good. It's it's like four extremely minor things happen. <laughs> yep, it, it does. It does like like pile on the minor effects. Uh, so point one flat damage, which is very little, <laughs> very very little. Oh, a it's, soul a, heart. It's, a, it's a it's a clown hat, and aesthetically, it's great. It turns Isaac into a clown. It's a very it turns into like shakes the clown. Yeah, it turns into like a specific clown, almost. Yeah, a um, certain there's a certain gold plateness to this clown. Yeah, yeah, he's a very angry clown. Um, you watched uh, Bobcat Goldthwait's uh, films? I have seen. Yeah, I've seen a couple. Um, I saw uh, the God. What is it called? Um, it's America. Uh, Whatever the, what, is that the one with uh, Bill Murray's brother? No, 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 no. Uh, it's, it's, uh, oh, maybe it's like a guy and a younger, yeah, young yeah, girl. Yeah. I think that's Kristen uh, Stewart is the, the younger woman. Oh yeah. Uh, I, I like that. I haven't seen, a, that's the one I haven't seen. I saw the dog fucking one, which is great. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. and then, uh, world's greatest well. dad, which is fantastic. I've not seen world great world's greatest dad. Oh man. It's a, it's a good late Robin Williams performance. I should watch it. I like, yeah. uh, Bob Kate, Bobcat Goldthwait. Kind of like an American Yorgos Lanthimos a little bit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, American Yorgos Lanthimos is a good name for a store, like as like an American apparel. Yeah, Gary. Kind of I, we're we're. I, let's save that role play because I, I okay. want. The, it, it's already getting so fucking hot. It's eleven in the morning and it's already starting to like cook in here. So yeah, man, we got well, we got to get going. We, we, yeah. We're 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 one fourth the way through the effects. of That's Bozo. what I'm saying. The um, the next one is you get a soul heart, and that's always Gary. I was uh, diverting happy. us from talking about the item to talk about how we need to talk about the item. I'm just I'm just doing my my job here. I no no I know, but I I don't want you to roast. I have air conditioning, man. Okay, like but, I but Gary, I don't want you to divert by saying that you were doing the thing I said to do. This is a seller's market when it comes to heat. Like I I'm good. I'm trying. I'm looking out for you and it's your sweaty me, tits. Like M- Monsieur Clouseau. <laughs> well, it's a well, seller, hello, seller's Gary. market. Oh, I see. I see. Did, didn't that, I was thinking of uh, that little guy who's like, yeah, his hands are so deep. That little man. That's not Peter Sellers. No, that's, uh, are, are you talking about, the, uh, God, what is, uh, Peter Laurie. Peter Laurie, yes. Yeah, I'm talking about Peter Laurie. Uh, enemies that are close to you might become charmed or feared. Who gives two uh, fucks. And when you take damage, sometimes you spawn a rainbow poop, which is theoretically good if you're doing like a red heart. I'm losing a lot of health. Difficult to run. Yeah, this is actually uh, depending on what that spawn chance is, because none of it's affected by luck, and none of it's in the wiki. <laughs> yeah, so it's uh, just a chance. But 
that could hypothetically make uh, Delirium or Hush a total roll for uh, for like Samson. Yeah, like, this is a great Samson item, actually. Yeah, uh, Rainbow Poops. We haven't done the poop uh, season. <laughs> Wait yeah. for Duck Fest too. Yeah, but they they uh, they they fill your health up. Um, so uh, Com- but yeah, I just fill I don't your health up. By the way, like full yes. full heal. It's actually it's if you're doing Pretty a red cool. heart build, it's crazy good. It's a it's very hard to get excited about Bozo, the item. It is because that's such a like a, a that that effect. I didn't even know it did that effect. Uh, could make mm-hmm. the rainbow poops. That that does make me reevaluate this upward slightly from yes nothing to oh a use case for for me it, it upgrades it to useful but boring yeah um, um i wonder if this originally was just taking damage has a chance to spawn rainbow poop and then they were like this is nothing we gotta razzle dazzle a little bit we gotta give it, this it's a little almost, old razzle dazzle let's throw three trinkets on there yeah that's and see, basically see what, happens. what this is yeah uh, what should people do if they like this show, Will? Uh, they should read the trivia entry that says, this item is a reference to Bozo the Clown, a clown mm-hmm. character whose broad popularity <laughs> peaked in the 1960s. That's sad, because I, I watched him a lot in the 80s. I didn't realize he was... Like, <laughs> yeah, you were deck, watching you know? dead children toss ping yeah. pong balls into uh Well, they, into they had new episodes. They had, black, they had a color episode. It wasn't just like the old 60s oh, show. That's true, Gary. So, uh, yeah. so it, the sad part for you is that you were watching a clown in decline. Yeah, it was it was uh, it was like a Royal Tenenbaum situation, like a bozo past his prime. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, clowns are like comic books. Once they're out of the wrapper. Oh man, I just clicked on the uh, the bozo Wikipedia link and I forgot about Cookie the clown. Uh-huh. Uh huh. His his weird little like sidekick. Sure. I like how clowns sometimes they're bald in a very fun way, and sometimes they just make them so they're naturally balding. Yeah. And like Cookie is naturally balding, and bozo is fun bald. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Huh. Oh. Gary, I don't have time to dive into all the anti baldness you just expressed. So, mm-hmm. yeah. as a well, as a should, balding man, we should probably call it as a balding American. That you should, uh, um, yeah, uh, Patreon dot com slash Duckfeed TV and write us reviews. I'm really mad at people who haven't done it since Yesterday? we last recorded. Yeah, since yeah, since 24 <laughs> hours ago. <laughs> yeah, I told you to get on it, and you didn't. And I wanted so to be sedated. Twenty 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 four hours to go. Wanna be yeah. sedated. It is uh, one of the, the, the top Ramon song. I, I believe um, you, Gary. If you asked me to name a Ramon song, I would, uh, I guess I would just end the call. <laughs> well, I'll keep that in mind. Yep. Ripcord. <laughs> Good night. Podcast, podcast. concludes. <clears throat>